then it's not right and we're gonna talk about it until we have a solution i'm here with everybody's favorite person hi everybody the fifth baby name hint is Hello, welcome back to my channel. I have an ob -gen appointment this morning. I am 31 weeks pregnant, um, but this is just a checkup. This is just one of those appointments where you go and they're like, hey, are you okay? And then they listen to the heartbeat and she's like, do you need anything? But there are a few things that I needed to talk to her about. This is the first time that I'm seeing her after my gestational diabetes test failure so i feel like i'm walking into the principal's office <laughs> today it's like the weirdest feeling ever i had breakfast around nine o'clock so that means that i need to take my blood sugar around 11 so i went ahead and packed my glucose monitor with me so i've only been doing this for a few days now and my blood sugars after every single meal have stayed below in the low 80s and my target is to be below 120. So <laughs> we're doing good. Um, I haven't had to make any really changes and my blood sugar stayed in the low 80s. So I'm really thankful for that. As you saw in my last vlog, my appointment with my high risk doctor went really well. The baby looked really well. He's not huge. So we are trying to keep it positive with like having to do this four times a day because that kind of sucks. But just reminding myself like he's healthy, I'm healthy we're on the right track. <laughs> Anyways, I also have to talk to her about this weird sore throat that I've been having. Um, I've had this sore throat for like ever. Like it feels like months now. I did 10 days of a antibiotic and it didn't go away and it's just my left tonsil. Like the other one feels completely normal. It's the weirdest thing and it's okay during the day and then at night and in the middle of the night when I sleep, I'm like, like it's the worst pain ever. I finished the round of antibiotics, so if there was like bacteria in my throat, it should be gone. So because it's just happening in the middle of the night, I'm like, maybe I should try to put a humidifier in my room. I don't know. I know that whenever like things like this happen, whenever you're pregnant, it can take like months to like heal because your immune system is like a little bit more compromised. Anyways, I gotta bring that up to her. Um, so it'll actually be a really good visit. Hey guys, so I'm back from the ob -gen. Just walked in, whoa, we are super bright. <laughs> One second. ob -gen appointment went really well. I kind of explained to her what went down with the test, what was discussed at my high-risk appointment, and she actually said that if I monitor my sugars for the next three weeks and they look normal, then we need to reevaluate things, which makes me so happy because I've just been, <sighs> I mean, y'all know how I felt about this whole process and everyone around me is probably like, okay, big deal. Like you have gestational diabetes. You have to poke your finger four times a day. It's not that big of a deal. But I've been through a lot, <laughs> a lot. And I was really, really enjoying my pregnancy. I felt like I just was thoroughly enjoying my pregnancy. And so whenever you get a diagnosis like that and for starters, more needles, <laughs> after everything I've already had to do, if I have like a little bit of intuition or like a feeling in my gut that maybe this isn't the right thing to do, like I'm not, I'm not just gonna blow it off. And in the past, I would just blow it off. I would just do whatever whoever told me and, and I wouldn't question anything, but I don't know if it's just like me becoming a mommy. I'm just like, no, if it's not right, it's not right. If I feel in my heart it's not right, then it's not right. And we're gonna talk about it until we have a solution. So. That made me feel a lot better, so I at least have two to three weeks left of finger pricking, which I need to do my lunchtime one right now. Oops, I'm late. <laughs> but we at least have two to three weeks left of finger pricking before I can bring my levels to my doctor and show her that everything's taken care of and everything is just fine. Okay, lunchtime blood levels. Gotta get this done. Oh, I'm a little late. I actually, my mom told me this. She was like, so basically like usually you'll load your pin. This is your needle. You'll put the cap back on. And then whenever you push the button, it pops up and it pricks your finger. But the anticipation of like pushing the button and all that crap. And I feel like I have like a little bit more control when I just 
prick my finger. <laughs> that might be like really weird to y'all, but it's working for me, so. Okay, 96. We're good, which is good. That means the baby's not affected at all. Okay, we're done, we're good. Now it's time to have lunch. And then do this again in two hours. What the heck, what the heck? There's stuff everywhere. Lord, mommy's messy, girls. Mommy's messy. Hey guys, it is the next day actually. After I stopped editing that vlog, I got really, really tired. I ended up passing out on the couch, sitting up straight like this for like an hour. And I woke up and it was just one of those naps where you feel like you missed the bus for school and you're so disoriented. And then next thing I know, Matt was texting me, asked me what I wanted to do for dinner. And so, then I ate and went to bed. So now we're here. We are actually heading to the downtown Houston area. My cousin is having her graduation today, so we're going to support her. We can't go inside graduation to rally her on, which really stinks because of COVID and stuff, but we are going to bring her her gift, tell her congratula congratulations, and that we love her. We will have our masks on. I think we're gonna do like a lunch together with just like immediate family. And it's like a socially distanced place. I mean, we're going into Houston, which is in the city, which is gonna be pretty strict for COVID. <sighs> Matt moves so much slower than me in life. And it's probably one of our biggest struggles, honestly. I'm always just like, why? does that take you so long it's a mystery anybody else have that struggle with their significant other thank you oh. so this is actually the gift i made her um i went on live on instagram and started making this like on live while we chatted turned out super cute super unique way better than just getting a card in my opinion I'm recording. Oh, no. <laughs> Seriously, I'm counting my, my hot sauce here for one. Thank you for being a part of my life, part of so my journey. Awesome. Wouldn't be here without you guys. I love you guys. I'm so thankful. So, well, I love you all. I'm here with everybody's favorite person. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Everyone's favorite. Hi. Everyone loves Momo. <laughs> <laughs> said the name <laughs> and baby boy <laughs> that part yeah i just said the name <laughs> we will all know the name very soon very very soon whoa biggin biggin and there's the queen herself say hi to the world <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, look at this belly. I gotta show you. <laughs> Ignore our pet right here. But y'all, this belly, like, what? Things are getting real, real, real around here. Look at that. Holy smokes. I love it. If you've been subscribed to me, then you know it's taken me a while to get like a proper bump. Like in my updates and stuff, I was just really ready for it for the longest time. And we're here, guys. This this is it. This is this is a bump. Like we're he's in there. <laughs> so after we went and saw my cousin and gave her her gift and just gave her well wishes before she walked the stage. And we just came home, chilled with the dogs, got comfy. We got to watch her graduate virtually, so that was really nice. But I gotta show you something. This is completely off topic, unrelated, but I gotta show you, because you're probably gonna be just as annoyed as my poor husband <laughs> was. So a few vlogs back, I posted a nesting vlog where I just had the urge to like repaint furniture, rearrange, like I was just in home project mode and i think the title was like am i nesting like i wasn't even sure if it was nesting but i just know that i had the urge to like redo furniture all of a sudden so in that vlog i show <laughs> i showed you that i completely redid our living room coffee table <sighs> and then it hit me again about two days ago i was like i don't want a coffee table anymore i want an ottoman because ottomans are more baby friendly, they are. 
admit it, they are. They're more baby friendly and more space in the living room for his things. So, and I found it for 90 bucks on like our Facebook market page. So I wanted to show you that, but Matt was just like, okay, honey, why do you, why? Why do you want this ottoman again? <laughs> okay, let's go pick it up. <laughs> it's nothing like too crazy. It's just like a dark gray leather ottoman. So I was just like, you know what? This is gonna free up so much space for like his bouncer, where, wherever I need him. I'm probably gonna need him in the living room most of the time, the baby. And also like he can climb on it. He's, I'm not, I don't have to worry about him smashing his head on the side. Like it's just, that's why I wanted it. <laughs> <laughs> but I wanted to show you. And like our coffee table was so huge and what did it do? Just hold our water? Thanks. It took up so much room and it just like wasn't practical. But anyways, I just wanted to show you that. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog, but I do have another baby name hint for you and the hints are starting to get really good and a little more specific to where you're probably, y'all are probably going to start figuring out the baby name hints. So with that being said, I have been commenting on the baby name hints. If y'all DM me on Instagram and ask me like about a baby name, I'll be like, no, that's not it or whatever. Um, now that we're getting a little bit closer and y'all are probably, some of you might start guessing his name. Uh, just know that I am reading the guesses. I'm reading your comments. I'm loving them but I probably am not gonna comment back and be like, nope, that's not it, or oh my gosh, maybe, you know? I don't want to give it away in any way because our baby name reveal will be Monday, December 28th. That's this coming Monday, guys. So you're about to get the last three baby name hints coming at you in some vlogs. So I'm gonna be uploading three vlogs before Monday. I'm gonna be a very busy girl between that and Christmas. It's gonna be crazy, but it's gonna be worth it. I wanted to announce his name in a special and unique way, but I just wanna do it now. So with that being said, I'm just gonna to have to work harder to make that happen. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you the fifth baby name hint, and there's only seven. So the fifth baby name hint is that our baby shares the name of a North American automobile that was produced in the 50s. That is the next baby name hint. I can't wait to give you the last two. These last three hints are probably when, yeah, y'all are gonna start guessing his name, but I'm so excited. I'm, I'm just so excited. I'm so excited for the reveal. I'm so excited for him to just be, you know, out in the universe. Our little baby Bitty Burr, he's a real thing. He's just been a thought for years and he's a real thing now and it's just crazy. It's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy. If you like this vlog, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Double check, make sure you're subscribed. A lot of y'all that watch my videos aren't subscribed <laughs> and you don't wanna miss that baby name reveal. I have so many exciting videos planned for this chapter in our life and I want to share them. So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask you, ask you all my questions, get to know you.